Hello, welcome to Differentiated Material Preparation. And for today, I am going to teach modeling number quantities. And for that, I will need various items which will enable me to deliver the lesson effectively. Some of the countable objects that I will need include bottle caps, seeds, straws, as you can see. And depending on the environment that you find yourself, you can also use clay that has been molded into balls as well as bottle tops and any countable object within your environment. Remember, we are using low cost or no cost materials. For this particular presentation, I am privileged to be using straws. And for straws, you need to buy. But that doesn't mean you should go and buy straws if it is not within your means. You could also use sticks. You can let the learners bring sticks and you cut them into pieces and use them for your modeling. I also have my Manila card, which I have used to draw my place value mat, on which we are going to do the modeling of the quantities. If you don't have money to buy a Manila card, you can use the back of old calendars, as well as card box or used papers that you find available. So in the process, I cut my straws into smaller sizes so that I could get a lot of quantities to use. My straws are bundled in tens. So I pick 10 loose ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I use a rubber band or a thread or any material that you can use in tying your sticks or the straws and bundle it because I've told you we are going to do modeling number quantities. So I need some of my, my countable materials to be in tens, to be in ones. That is, I have the loose ones here. I have the tens here. And this is made up of 10 of these, giving me a hundred. So if I'm going to model in hundreds, then I have a sample of my hundred to model. I also have my seat here. And with these seats, if I'm modeling in tens, I will count 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you take the rubber, put them in. I don't have a rubber here, like I'll put them in for you to see. Then you tie them. You can also use your bottle caps. Okay? You count them, you model them in tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Then as you model them, 
Then you go and model them on your place value mat to show the number that you are modeling. Because in modeling, we are relating number to number quantity to numerals. So if I say 10, when I come to model it on the place value mat, I should be able to see the quantity 10 and then the quantity ones. So this is a simple way of modeling number quantities using these materials. Thank you.